Hey, it's Julian Wong, MLM Giant Killer here, doing some live vlog, and this is my new shoes. Uh, just played a tennis uh, game of tennis in Salida Country Club, and um, so that's me. And well, um, today I kind of like busted two. I busted two strings on my tennis racket. I busted one yesterday, and I busted the last one today. So this was the one I busted yesterday. There you go. So, first time I ever snapped like four strings at once. Is that four strings? Yeah, four strings at once. Um, and if you look at the cross section, it's, it's, so, you, so you can see that. I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, anyway. So it's pretty badly split. There you go. So, and then. And then I took out this one from the storeroom. This was one, actually no, I forgot to tell you, this one was the, the third racket that I ever bought. Um, it's uh, RDTS 70 by Yonex, and um, it was the one that's used by by Marcello Rios, as well as Richard Krychek. And this one was an uh, Agassi racket. I was a big Agassi fan. Um, and I thought I broke all these, I had seven of them, um, down to the last one. and. Uh, just broke it as well. So string snapped in one spot this morning and I've actually been procrastinating about chaining my strings. I mean like, ever since uh, past couple of months I just haven't been doing all that. Now you see it. So a lot of these strings are like cut halfway through. So you can see those notches on the string. So it's uh, it's pretty bad. The notches. That you can see it. Yeah. So, a lot of war scars, but I mean, new shoes, but not new rackets because I still like my old rackets quite a bit. They play great, and the new rackets are mostly like trash nowadays. I don't know why they don't make them like they used to, so it's uh, bad shit. Um, so, anyways, it's today was like a like a then and now kind of thing. It's a new haircut. You said this new. Uh, Chinese gangster haircut because I want to bring some new attitude to the game, right? I want to bring some new attitude to Denver, Colorado for the Don't Be a Wussy event. Um, and then, what was that? What's the other thing? Um, yeah. And just now I was actually wearing the same shirt. I was wearing the same shirt um, as I wore in my contest video didn't even realize it because I, I'm not I'm not the kind of person that uh, bothers to coordinate my clothes very much just grab whatever is co convenient and yeah this was the same one that I wore when I was carrying my son um, when I found out uh, that he had a G6P deficiency as well as uh, he had to be warded for two weeks for jaundice and I was there in the ward I was carrying him around in the parents room yeah that was a time when we had when he had to go f get a medical downgrade because um, <clears throat> it's not medical downgrade but it's like a ward class downgrade because it was just too expensive he had to be in there for two weeks after the, after the downgrade it still costs about two, two grand but it could have been about six so the whole delivery plus, plus that was came about seven grand yeah thereabouts. it's pretty expensive in Singapore <clears throat> um, in US dollars, probably like 5.5. That, that's how much it costs. And um, could have been a lot worse. But in any case, um, well, I'm still not ready to have a third kid yet uh, financially. But I would think, you know, uh, I mean, not wanting to make the mistake that I've done in the past, which is spend future income. I want to I wanna get to a 20k a month income through my online business. Um, right now, about 6 plus, you know, getting kind of consistent. And once it gets off to about, you know, 20 grand a month, then I'm going to look at getting my, my third kid. So, so that the first two can have a high quality of life, and the third one is going to just come and join in the fun. So that's, that's what it should be. Um, Having said that, you know, just a random perspective about parenting, um, people think 
should the kids come first uh, and then the money later or let's say the money first and the kids later I would say that you know if I would have done it any way different if I look back on my life I wouldn't have done anything different than the way it was um, in terms of uh, having kids uh, when, when you had kids and, and just going going all in with it getting a house and a car um, I would have done it any different I guess it's because of the challenges that I've, I've been through that actually forced me out of a complacency that I've been in for a very long time not just that the global warming as well and forced me to look at look at life uh, back then before I went out of business it made me more hardworking and made me uh, rethink how I could actually uh, get more clientele and, and I, that's when I ventured into pay-per-click advertising and this and that um, but after when business went south uh, that's what got me looking at uh, new possibilities on how to make money online and uh, thankfully that's how I actually got to know about Empower Network and that's how over the gradual course of time I built up my own team uh, my own mastermind group in Singapore and as well as uh, my growing global team. I'm going to think of a name for that really really soon and a message from Lawrence Tam last night and it got me thinking that I just should do something real soon about that uh, and uh, well I mean for all of you who will be seeing online real soon for those of you who will be seeing in Denver Colorado at the Empower Network event well um, hope to see you there and this is my current hairstyle and this is you know um, how I currently look so this is give you a better idea of how to spot me I'll see you there looking to speak to you and looking to make some videos with you as well all right see you shooting well I'm on giant killer signing out oh don't forget like um, of course and I, I know some of you are not already in the business and some of you want to get involved in internet marketing I have to advertise my link so it's um, www.highprofitsociety.com once again it's highprofitsociety.com check it out